A son who's losing his mother. A mother who's lost her son. We've looked for 15 years. On a collision course with the truth. Sybil Shepherd. There was a little boy. Tonight at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime. Happy Mother's Day from Lifetime Television. Mom, it's not a simple job, and this weekend we celebrate with stories of all kinds of moms. Coming up next, Patty Duke stars in No Child of Mine. And tonight at 8, Sybil Shepherd stars in There Was a Little Boy on the Lifetime Nighttime Movie. couldn't get any more animated. Bam! Wake up! We put him in front of a live audience. Mm. Ah, give me some. It's spicy. It's getting hot in here already, isn't it? Unpredictable. I won't even go there. It's the Bam Bam Man, like you've never seen him before. You're not in outer space. It's Emerald Live. If you like your essence shaken, not stirred. Oh, yeah, babe. Kick it up with Emerald Live. Hey, now. I don't need a new air conditioner. Mine works fine. If you ever have a home cooling problem, call Michael Reitz at Reitz Air Conditioning and Heating. If anything did go wrong, I'd want someone I could trust to be there when I needed them. We've been in business for over 29 years. And I don't need some fly-by-night operation. Well, we've passed the Lennox Quality Dealer Standards Program. I probably just called Dave Lennox. Or call me at Reitz Air Conditioning and Heating. He's the man for the job. I couldn't agree more. Lennox, 5,000 independent dealers, 100 years of service. One less thing to worry about. Happy Mother's Day. I love Jesse, Mama, but I can't raise him not the right way. Some daughters just can't please their moms. I am your mother, and I'm telling you, you are not going to give that baby away. Especially a mom like this. I am tired of cleaning up after your mistakes. Looks like the battle's just begun. Patty Duke. You can't hide from us, Tammy. And Tracy Nelson. It was the right thing to do for my son. In a true story, no child of mine. Next on Lifetime. So now we gotta go get two of everything. We gotta get two bottles, two pacifiers, two cribs, two strollers, two car seats, about 2,000 diapers, two blankets. Two bikes? Yeah, two bikes. Dad? Yeah? Why do people have twins? I don't know. It just happens sometimes. How come? Well, it's got something to do with chromosomes. Dad? Yeah? What's chromosomes? Well, I would imagine that's something better for your science teacher, Mr. Cattleman, but that's what makes babies babies. Oh. Don't mow these people down. Say beep beep. Beep beep. Twins always look exactly alike. Well, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. What well, else? What if they're exactly alike, but they both turn out to be kind of funny looking? <laughs> Kids are always beautiful to the people that love them. Even you. Ha ha. When I grew up, my kids wanted to be twins. Maybe. It could happen. I hope so. Then they can grow up together and be best friends forever and ever. Yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Mommy asked. She's not fat, right? Okay. Oh, the race is on. I'll race you home. Here they go, sir. Here they come. Here they come. Neck and neck going down the home stretch. Oh, man, the crazy's got a slight lead, but here comes Bobby. Oh, there's Mom. Hey, honey, special delivery. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Um. This is it. It's time? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay, I'm go scared. get suitcase just like we practiced. That's right. Honey, I'm gonna get in the car. No, you, you get in the car. I need to no, get my I, stuff, honey. All right, you call the doctor. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna call the doctor. And you get your stuff. You got mommy's suitcase. Good. Okay, we got everything. Let's go, let's go. Honey, do you think I should call her? Oh, it's up to you. Just hurry. Pull over, 
over, please. Sweetheart, Just pull over. We're in a hurry. Stop. Lucille. It's the last stop, I promise. Don't you dawdle in there. Tammy called. I'm on my way to the hospital. She's having the twins. I knew she'd call. Sooner or later, they all realize they need their mama. I keep thinking this is our second chance. These babies are going to bring our family back together again. These will be for me. Oh, how precious. Oh. I wish they could stay babies. I think they're just about perfect when they're six months old. <laughs> we can settle up later. I knew they could just get on over to that hospital now. I'll call you. Oh, give Tammy a big kiss. I will. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. Oh, honey, you're doing so good. Halfway there, you're doing so good, honey. Is Jesse okay? Jesse's fine. Jesse's great. Already? Okay, and one, two. All right, Tammy, you're doing great. Four, five, six, Doctor. seven, eight, nine. Doctor, I think you should look at this. Just a minute. Sidell, get on to Sidell now. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? What? Mama, we're gonna go home for a bit. See if maybe we can get some sleep. Maybe you and Daddy should go home. See if you can get some rest too. Oh, I can't leave Tammy now. I'll call you when it happens. I better go too. I have a 7 a.m. flight back. Robin, you came all this way. I have to go back to New York, Mom. I've got to work. Mm. Funny thing about labor. You two popped out in no time, one right after the other. <laughs> I'll see you at Christmas, Daddy. Okay, baby. Night night. Tammy's in trouble. I didn't want to scare the kids. Nah, Michelle, don't she go was jumping. only in labor two hours with Danny, and he was a first. I never had any trouble. Hush, baby, do you hush? Well, are we grandparents yet? Jean, Tammy's pregnancy. She wasn't having complications, was she? Well, she had a few bad days, I guess. Why didn't she go to Dr. Stewart? He delivered all my babies. If Dr. Stewart was here, we Lucille. would not be waiting. Lucille. Lucille. Doctor. Doctor, ma'am, is she okay? My daughter, Tammy, is she okay? She's fine. And the babies? She had two boys. <sighs> Why didn't you say they were fine, too? Something's wrong, isn't it? The father will be out in a while. If and... there's something wrong with my daughter's babies, I want to know now. We have been sitting up all night. My husband is worried sick. Ma'am, it is not my place. Bob will be out soon. He can marry Del Vecchio's girl, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I... I've known Mary since the third grade. And I saw you when you were a baby in the tub. So don't you act like some high and mighty doctor. Because when I tell your mama that you didn't have the decency to tell three words. All right, right, Mrs. Jenkins, all right. Jordan came second. He had a very difficult delivery. He wasn't breathing. He lost a lot of blood. He's on oxygen right now. Sweet God in heaven. And the other baby? Jesse's delivery went well. But he has Down syndrome, ma'am. You mean retarded? Could be a mild retardation, ma'am. We won't know for a while. He's a bit weak now, but he should do okay. I'm sorry. Didn't you know? Aren't there tests that Your tell? daughter is only 25, ma'am. Downs is rare with a woman that age. Amnio wouldn't have been worth the risk to the fetuses. I am sorry.
outpatient programs in the area. Now, you'll be eligible for assistance. I've got a list of agencies for you to contact when you feel ready. I'm just going to leave these here. I just want you to know there's help available if you need it. Information and advice, other parents who are raising Down syndrome kids, if you want to talk. Look, I, uh, I know this can be overwhelming. Just get some rest. I'll be back later. Hey! Hi! I hope Nanny put the cribs up. Oh, did you, honey? That's great. I hope you were good, Slugger. Of course he was. He's my boy. Here's all. Oh, I've got him, Bob. Why don't you get Tammy's bags? Mama, I can take one of those. Honey, you know how heavy these contraptions are. Let me. Come on, sweetie. all by yourself. You're not. You have a mom and a daddy who love you. Mama, I know we've had our differences. But I, I'm telling you. That doesn't mean anything now. Lord doesn't give us more than we can handle. And he just sent us a pair of angels. Yes. Mom! Christmas, and that's if you're good, remember? I mean, I don't mind. And you don't throw your toys. I'm gonna make supper, and you do your homework. Okay? This movie is sponsored by Franzia, America's best-selling wine. Wines this good must be guarded with care. That's why Franzia comes to you in an airtight pouch that protects the fresh taste to the very last glass. Maybe that's why it's America's best-selling wine. She's the woman I prayed I'd be nothing like when I grew up. But now that I'm growing, I pray I'm half the woman she is. Virginia Grabeel, Rogersville, Tennessee. This Lifetime Mother's Day tribute is brought to you by Celebrity Cruises, exceeding expectations. At which point in our lives did a long, hot bath go from being the ultimate punishment 
to the ultimate reward. It is a place you call your own, a place all yours, a place called home. The JCPenney Home Collection is a brand of perfectly coordinated bedding, bath, and window coverings that help you make the place you live the place you love. JCPenney, I love your style. Save now at the JCPenney Window Covering Sale. New L'Oreal Kid Shampoo. L'Oreal! <laughs> Tear free. L'Oreal! No more knots. <laughs> Beautiful hair. L'Oreal! Kids! Because we're working too! And so, after 35 years, I return to Russell, Kansas. To my friends and my family. To that very special place where they always called me by my first name. Oh, Great lunch. Barb, take a check. Of course, Bob. Can I see some ID? Driver's license? Consider the Visa check card. It automatically deducts from your checking account everywhere Visa's accepted. No ID needed. It works like a check, only better. I, I just can't win. <laughs> Twizzlers and Twizzlers pull and peel candy. Two ways to make mouths happy. Rain Tree's Mr. Sandman, Lipscomb Rising Star. If their bloodlines are any indication, these puppies will grow to become champions. But breeding alone isn't enough. To reach their full potential, they'll need the balance of essential nutrients they get in Puppy Chow brand from Purina, which may be just the thing to bring out the potential in puppies like uh, Dweezil, Filbert. Come on, Monty. Purina, bring out the champion in your dog. If you can do this, you can make wood beautiful with Minwax. And if you can do this, you can give wood lasting protection. Turning a house into a beautiful home is as easy as turning to Minwax. Oh, Fluffy, a bug. Let's call Terminix. Call 1-800-TERMINIX for any bug problem. Nobody offers a better money-back guarantee. Don't call Terminix if you want to see Cat again. Nobody bugs bugs like Terminix. Fluffy? On Lifetime. Murder is what I call an occupational hazard. She was society's worst nightmare. If you want to kill me, kill me. I don't care. But one woman gave her reason to hope. Prison is where I belong. I don't believe that. And one man gave her a reason to live. This baby is half mine. I don't want her to go to strangers. Tira Farrell and Mayor Winningham. Oh. A Lifetime original movie, Better Off Dead. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. here on Lifetime. Would you look at him? Is he the cutest? I know I shouldn't say this, but of all the grandkids, Jesse's becoming my favorite. I just feel so close, ever since the first time I held him. Maxine's sister-in-law, one down in Huntsville, she had her one of them Down syndrome babies. And once they got over the shock and all, why, it turned out to be such a blessing. Well, they have just the sweetest dispositions. Don't you, Jesse? Lady at the mental health department told me you put Jesse in a normal environment, and you can raise him up to learn to his full capacity. Those were exact words. Full capacity. All the books said the same thing. 62.38. Not bad for a Wednesday morning. Okay, Jesse. Nanny's here. Yes. It's nice that you and Tammy finally made up. Oh, just in time. Uh, Tammy hasn't had much experience with babies. I'm really the one who raised Danny. Danny was just a baby herself. I'm sure she's grateful. Well, I'm glad to help. Feels good to be needed again. doctor say? Oh. Well, he did the brain ultrasound, and it looks good. It looks like Jordan's gonna be okay. Oh, that's a relief. All right, 
You two hang up your coats, and I'll have supper ready in no time. We just came to pick up Jesse, Lucille. You're not staying for supper? I know you must be exhausted, and I made it up for an army. Thanks, but what with me working nights, the first chance we got to be together, just the family. But that's what I'm saying. Daddy's coming home. We're all going to be together. Mama, Bob and I have some things we need to talk about, so we'll, we'll do another time. Okay? Bye. Beautiful. I didn't hear you come in. Where are the kids? They didn't want to stay. And after I made a whole supper and everything. I think Bob's holding a grudge. That's what I think. Tell you what. Why don't you go upstairs and change? Let a handsome fella take you out for a steak dinner and uh, some dancing. Unless you got a date with another man. <laughs> Baby. I've been on the go all day. What am I going to do with all that food? Come on, here, give me this. Give me this stuff. Come on. We need to relax. Lamar. Come on. See? Isn't that better? House seems so quiet lately. I guess I took it for granted all those years. It sounds like kids playing and laughing. I thought it would never end. Didn't you? Well... We got grandkids now. I think that's even better. You know, first I was really worried. But I think everything's going to work out with Tammy. Uh, that's my girl. <laughs> Lamar, how many of those antacids did you eat today? It's, it's nothing. It's just a hard day, that's all. That airline is not going to go bankrupt if you come home early once or twice a week. I don't want that ulcer to start up again, you hear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mama, I didn't have time to get some dress. I just had to grab the kids and go. It's okay. Don't we love having the kids? I want to admit Jordan for observation, so I have to go and sign some papers. Well, go on. You'll be fine. Mama, the thing is, Jordan is so sick all the time. Now it's asthma, and I've been talking to a lot of people, you know, and Jesse, he needs extra attention and stimulation. I hardly have any time for him. Things will look better tomorrow. But tomorrow will be exactly the same. I can't. It's just not fair to Jesse. I understand, huh? You do, Mama, because Bob and I, we realize there's a limit to how much we can cope with, you know? Uh, Evan, your mother feels that way. Even I did. But it'll get better, you see? Yeah, I best get these kids to bed. Mama, we really need to talk. I know, honey. You call me as soon as you know some more from the doctor. Night-night. Say night-night.
I know. But I have to deal with Mama first. Honey, that's all you've been trying to do. You know your mama only hears what she wants. She's been out of our lives for a year, and it's been great. And now, bam, she's starting to take over again. It's not going to happen this time. I promise. <sighs> this has got to be our decision, honey, not ours. If we do give Jesse up, is he going to think we did it because it's different? <laughs> what are we going to tell Jordan when he's old enough? I want to do the right thing. I want to do what's going to be best for Jesse. I just don't know if I'm strong enough. Strong enough to give him up. <laughs> Love is touch. who are also mothers Love is no way. to the mothers yet to be happy mother's day from johnson and johnson i'm in the pool seven days a week great for my body tough on my hair that's why you need alberto vo5 hot oil once a week it revitalizes your hair every time you use it vo5 bonds to the weak sites of every strand so your hair is actually 55% stronger. If VO5 can make my hair look this good, imagine what it can do for yours. Revitalize your hair with VO5 Hot Oil, one minute, once a week. Try new VO5 Hot Oil Shower Works, four weekly treatments and a convenient shower-activated formula. They overcame a lot that summer. Fear of cream spinach, creatures that wriggled. Then she faced her greatest fear, using bleach on a favorite green whoopee that just had to match a favorite green dinosaur. Luckily, this new Chia with Bleach Alternative had something special that didn't just clean, but helped keep that color bright, which brightened their moods when it got dark. Yes, really dark. New Chia, when your color's on the line. What's the easiest way to close an ordinary storage bag? Put it in a hefty one zip. That's the amazing one zip slider. It's the easiest to close. Ooh, that's fun. Locks into place the first time, so you're sure they're closed every time. Organizes your refrigerator in no time. So, what's the easiest way to close an ordinary bag? Put it in a hefty one zip. There's the hard way or the hefty way. Hefty one zip. Share a race car with my husband? Never. We don't even share shave creams. For me, it's pure silk. I love it. It moisturizes and makes my legs feel silky. Want a real experience? Then experience pure silk. Need a better way to keep your food? Then get Rubbermaid Easy Tops food storage containers. They open easy, keep your food fresh, and your fridge organized. Just one of thousands of solutions we have to make life a little easier. Wow. Rubbermaid. Ideas that last. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation that I'm riding on a chair after the Swiss Alps, the crisp air rushing by me on my way to the snowy peaks. York peppermint patty. Get the sensation. From the moment our lives begin, we grow, adapt, learn from experience. So has it been with Frost Insurance. Since our beginning in 1948, Frost Insurance has grown to offer more choices, adapted to keep pace with changing times, and learn from experience what you need and expect from your insurance agency. 
big enough for full service. Small enough for personal attention. Frost Insurance, 692-6400. Kick it up another notch! Just when you thought Emerald couldn't get any more animated, bam! Wake up! We put him in front of a live audience. Mm. Ah, give me some. It's spicy. It's getting hot in here already, isn't it? Unpredictable. I won't even go there. It's the Bam Bam Man, like you've never seen him before. You're not in outer space. It's Emerald Live. If you like your essence shaken, not stirred. Oh, yeah, babe! Kick it up with Emerald Live. Yeah. Hey, now. Mother's Day. Cool toys. I don't know why you dragged me out to bother these people. I told you, Mama. They know everything there is to know about raising kids with special needs. They've got 11 of them. 11? Yes, they're incredible. I really want you to get to know them, OK? Hey, Daddy. Come here, buddy. Hey, hey Tammy. Oh, good to see you. Daddy boy, what's up? Can I go play it back? Oh, you bet. I'm so glad you made it. We were hoping you would. You must be Tammy's mom. I'm Peggy Young. This is my husband, George. How are you doing? Please, come on. Let me show you around. Oh, the kids will be so excited. They've been pestering me about when they're going to see Danny. Have they? Yeah. Especially Natalie. I think she's got a crush on him. <laughs> oh. It's not usually this quiet. The little ones are still napping. The dining room? There's a lot of chairs. Well, we all like to eat together as a family. All the kids take turns setting the table. They learn to serve themselves. Follow me. The kitchen's right through here. Hey, kids. Hi. Hi. Now, Brian's what we call severe, but he dresses himself and does his chores just like all the other kids. And Tom, he was originally classified severe when he first came to us, but pretty soon we realized he was really functioning closer to mild. So we fought to give him to other class. Now he reads, he does math. He's just amazing. Kids, this is Tammy's mother, Mrs. J E N K. I N S Jenkins. Say hello. Hello? Hello? Hello. Louise has got a job down at the mall. She works two afternoons a week. You uh, must have folks come in and help with the cleaning and the washing and all that. No. No, we do it ourselves, like any family. But 11 children. Well, actually, it's uh, 15. We got four kids of our own besides the kids we've adopted. Hey! Fifteen children. Yeah. We work together. It's all learning for our kids. Shall we? Go on, Mama. Come on, let's go upstairs. I'll show you the bedrooms. This is the kids' art gallery. <laughs> Lisa. Tiffany. Patsy. Jan, and that's Debbie. See, we just took in little Lisa. Her mom abandoned her in the hospital. So we moved Debbie in with the big girls. But she's so attached to Jan, we keep finding her back in here. She even changed Jan's diaper yesterday. <laughs> George and I couldn't believe it. Did you ever see a five-year-old change a two-year-old's diaper? Can't say as I have. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying I find the place to prison. But, Mama, Peggy and George are so great. The kids are so happy. I grew up on a farm with ten brothers and sisters and no money. I know what it's like, and believe me, there is nothing romantic about two people trying to raise up 15 kids. Oh, Mama, they always have dedicated They've dedicated their whole life to this. They're educated. They know so much about Down syndrome. Mom, you're going to speak up again. It's gross. I'm going to be sick. Daddy, hush up. Mama, I just wanted you to see. If you think they're so great, let me ask you this. What kind of mother leaves her baby in a place like that? Well, maybe someone who doesn't know much about Down syndrome and doesn't think she can do a good job. Ah, poor kids. Mothers are probably drug addicts or Lord knows what else. Lowest of the low. 
I guess those kids are better off with the youngs. But you can't tell me that every one of them doesn't wish that he had a real family, like ours, instead of living in some institution. It's not an institution. Daddy, put that back. It's full of sugar. Mama. Bob and I... I need you to understand something. Tammy, you're right. I have nothing against those people. I'm just grateful you're not one of those poor people with no family to help out. Oh, no, Mama, these are my groceries. Oh, don't be silly. It's my pleasure. And anything you need for Jesse, you just have to ask. Anything. You know that, don't you? Well, now that you're in the family, I guess I'll have to reveal my secret ingredient. I'm going to make a Jenkins out of this girl yet. I don't know, Donna. I'd run for the hills if I were you. Pay no attention to you. I never do. Well, Rick, I called your sister up in New York today. That man answered the telephone again. Robin's not living with him, is she? Mama, how would I know? You know how Robin is. She never tells us anything. And if she did, you wouldn't tell me, would you? Probably not. Hey, you guys! You want to come in and lick the bowl? Chocolate frosted! Fresh lemonade! Okay, just a minute. It is so good to have Danny back again. When Tammy gets here, it'll be the first time in I don't know when, but most of the family's been together. You're here from the hospital? They put Jordan on a respirator. But Tammy, I think she's a bit overwhelmed. That's so sad. I think she made the right decision. What decision? Tammy's been trying to tell you, Mama. I think she's a little scared. Scared? Of what? I'm her mama. What on earth can't you tell me? Decision. Where's Tammy Frazier? Right there. How could you? Mama? Tell me you are not going to give Jesse to those people. Mama. Tell me you are not going to give my grandson to strangers. Look, this isn't the time or the place, Mama. People are looking at us. I don't us. care who's looking at us. I want to know about Jesse. I'm sorry. I can't do this right now, Mama. I'm going to go talk to the doctor. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. I am your mother, and I'm telling you, you are not going to give that baby away. Stop it, Mama. What are we doing tonight? Sorry. Gotta wash my hair. Bye. Sarah. Sorry, Jake. Washing my hair. Now that women have discovered Clairol's herbal essences, mm. the all-natural botanicals, mm. the organic herbs, oh. drenched in pure mountain oh. water. Yes! Yes! We've all got better things to do. Herbal essences, a totally organic experience. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jakey. Bye, Jakey. My mom's special because no matter how many times I make fun of her haircut, she still gets the same style. Catherine Batty, out in Lake, New Jersey. This Lifetime Mother's Day tribute is brought to you by Celebrity Cruises, exceeding expectations. Cats have many jobs. Pay them well with new Sheba seafood recipes. The fresh flavors of sole, crab, shrimp, and more. Plus, there's more fish than ever before. To a cat, nothing says love like the fresh taste of seafood. Shiva, love every day. So then Doris is driving it, and she says, but Elliot, I can't feel the road. And I said, but what do you expect? It's a luxury car. Anyway, we then drive it down the road. Have you ever heard that? Bored with traditional luxury? 
it could be time for the supercharged Bonneville, one of the world's most powerful sports sedans. Do you drive a luxury car, Frank? You bet your ascot I do. Luxury with attitude. The Bonneville by Pontiac. The only thing better than spending the night in a bed like this is spending the next day in it. It is a place you call your own A place all yours, a place called home The J.C. Penney Home Collection is a brand of perfectly coordinated bedding, bath and window coverings that help you make the place you live the place you love. J.C. Penney, I love your style Save now at the J.C. Penney Window Covering Sale. Don't move. Slowly put the donut down. And no one gets hurt. You have the right to fluffy nougat and milk chocolate with less fat. Thanks, this is really good, but you got a license for that sword? Big on chocolate, not on fat. The other night, the in-laws dropped in unexpectedly for dinner. Again. So I left a message for my husband to bring home an extra chicken. The Boston Market Extra Chicken for a Dollar Deal. Just buy a family meal and get an extra chicken for a buck. Don't mess with dinner. No one ever knows. I'm happier about this than I ever imagined. All of the consequences. I've performed over a hundred successful operations. Of making a choice. So they must be sick. Until it's too late. I never get sick. How could this happen? The fevers, the rashes, my body is reacting to the foam implants. Two women. This is outrageous. Why wasn't I warned? A personal decision. We were both misled. A public challenge. Well, how can the FDA approve a product with such serious risks? We haven't. A story that made headlines. There is no medical proof that links silicone to immune system ailments. Gail O'Grady. The only way I can live with this is to make sure other women won't go through what I have. Mary McDonald. The rule to be proven safe must never be altered. The Lifetime original movie, Two Voices. Premieres next month on Lifetime. him not the right way. Tammy, baby, this is your son. Now, there must be something we can say to make you change your mind. No, Danny. I gotta get the kids. Tammy. Daddy and I will take Jesse. We talked it out. Mama, I want the youngs to raise Jesse. No, Tammy. He's special, Mama. He needs a special home. How can you give your baby away? I'm not just giving him away. What do you call it, sweetheart? You, you're going to sign him over to some stranger? Who let us see him as much as we want to. Oh, sure. That's what they say now. But they're strangers. How do you going to let us see him? And right here, he has a nanny and a grandpa who love him and are willing to give him everything. But I don't want you to give him everything. That's how you loved us, Mama. You bought us things. And money is just not going to fix this. Jesse is retarded, Mama, and nothing you or Daddy can buy him is going to make that go away. We always did our best for you. I guess it just wasn't good enough. Look, what would happen if you did take Jesse and he grew up all alone here? What's going to happen, Daddy, in 30 or 40 years when you and Mama are gone? We were his family, sweetheart. He, he'd always have a place here. This is not your decision to make. It's Bob, isn't it? It's his idea. 
You would have never thought this way when you lived with us. Well, maybe for the first time since I met Pop, I feel like I have a right to live my own life, Mama, to trust myself. I am grown. I gave birth to Jesse, and now I want to give him a life. I don't know you. You're not my daughter. Mama, please. I don't know who you are. All right. I'll talk to Bob about what you said. I'll tell him about you raising Jesse, all right? I just know that he'd do so much better here with individual care and attention instead of some institution. He'd be lost there. We'll talk about it, okay? Tammy. We're his family. His family. Mama got real shook up today at the hospital. She was just so upset. You don't have to keep apologizing for her, Daddy. I'm not. Baby. Now, your mother and I may have our faults. But everything that we have ever done has been out of love. Then why doesn't it feel like love, Daddy? I'm making the hardest decision of my life, and I don't feel loved. Look, it's late. I gotta go. Oh, okay. Good night, baby. Good night. She's made up her mind. this blanket she brought me and my brother and sister home from the hospital in it and i brought danny home in it oh, you should take it there no it's it's part of jesse's heritage i want him to have it It'll take a couple of weeks for the adoption to go through you can change your mind at any time no jesse's home now that's why we want jesse adopted with your name same name as the family he grows up in. You've given us a real treasure. We won't let you down. I know. Danny. Honey. I wanted you here today because I wanted you to see how much love there is here for Jesse. And for you and Jordan, too. And someday, if one of your brothers asks you about it, you can tell them about today so that they'll understand, okay? Okay. Okay. Just give us a call any time. You come back any time you want, you hear? Okay, thanks. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Who was that on the phone? It was, um, it was Ricky. He says it's already done, sweetheart. Tammy has, um, signed Jesse over. The way this started was Peggy and I used to work at home for mentally handicapped adults. We began to realize it was already too late for them. Nobody taught them when they were young how to work with others, how to care about people. And they weren't cute little babies anymore. They were selfish and spoiled and not acceptable in the normal world. It doesn't matter how smart you are, you're not socially acceptable. You say the adoption hasn't gone through yet? The courts still have to finalize it. We don't see why we can't raise Jesse ourselves. Couldn't you just give them to us? Uh, that wouldn't be our place. It's the parent's decision. Our daughter has signed away her rights. I wish somebody would explain this to me. Would you give your baby away? Well, no, I wouldn't personally, but... that I chose this life, and for some parents, it's... But you don't know Tammy. Did she tell you she got pregnant when she was 16? Well, no, but I just don't... 16 years old! And we stood by her through a bad marriage and took her back home again after a year when it blew up. And we raised Danny as if he was our own son. And we do the same thing for Jesse, and she knows that. She is just dragging you in to punish us. That's what she's doing, to punish us for something. You see, Danny loves us so much that he didn't want to leave us when, when Tammy married Bob. But whose fault is that? Ma'am, see, all that's between you and your daughter. See, all we want to do is help kids with Down syndrome, and Tammy came to us for help. We're going to have to work it out with her. Danny? This is from Grandpa and me for you. A Nintendo! Oh, Mama. Danny, honey, you go wait in the car, okay? Give me this. I'll hold on to it. I'll be right there, okay? Go on. Hey, Mike! You can't hide from us, Tammy. You can't not answer your phone. You're killing your daddy. He's my baby. He's our grandson. Like Danny? You know, you you never even gave me a chance to raise him, Mama. You just took him over when we moved back in with you after the divorce. My God, I was right. Not even about Jesse. This is about Danny. Do you have any idea what Bob and I go through just to get him to listen to us? To respect us as his parents? With you ready to run his life and play Santa Claus every day? You just did it again. You make us compete with you for his love, Mama. That's ridiculous. You know, after everything you pulled last year, and Bob adopted Danny, I thought, I don't know, I thought maybe you were finally ashamed of yourself. You could change. But I knew, I knew that you just tried to take over again if I let you, if I let you near those babies. I am just trying to help. That is all I have ever tried to do. I love you. And I love Jess. I didn't come to argue. I came to ask you one last time to let Jesse grow up with his family. Or let us raise him if you won't. No. your decision, Tammy. I might as well tell you that your daddy and I are ready to call a lawyer. What? 
If that's what it takes to save Jesse, that's what it takes. Mm -hmm. You call a lawyer and it is over between us. I mean it. I have given in to you my whole life, but not over my baby. And you better think twice before you tear this family apart just to prove you're right. You're the one, Danny. You're the one breaking up the family. I just pray to God you come to your senses. I can't stand it, can you? That I could do something without you. That I could find two people who could help my son better than you. I am tired of cleaning up after your mistakes. You got married to get out of your house, Mama, so I could breathe. Terry, you can blame everything in your whole life on me. I can't stop you. But just once, I am going to stop you before you do something crazy. Mama, please, I beg you. Please don't do this. You've given us no choice. You know what I care about even more than what my doctor says? What he does. How does he take care of his own headaches? What medicine does he use? That's what I want to know, not what leading medical research indicates. When my doctor has a headache, you know what he takes? Excedrin. The aspirin-free kind of Excedrin. So I tried it on my own headaches. And you know what? He's a pretty good doctor. Aspirin-free Excedrin, the headache medicine. Sandy had an awful allergy attack, so we went to her pediatrician. She said Dimetap Elixir. It gives the relief she needs and has the grape taste she loves. No wonder pediatricians recommend Dimetap twice as often as Benadryl. Doctors say Dimetap for good reason. It's on. Online. Lifetime online. Information, ideas, insights, services, entertainment. A total online resource for you, for your life. Lifetime online. Things to know, things to do, things to discover. Check out CyberGirl, your personal guide to the internet. She'll show you what's new, what's hot, even how to create your own web page. And visit Weddings of a Lifetime online. All your favorite moments plus expert advice to make your big day perfect. Lifetime online, www.lifetimetv.com. When your period's late, waiting's the worst. First Response understands. That's why its pregnancy test is so fast. I got accurate results as soon as two minutes. I feel better now that I know. For an accurate, fast response, trust first response. Need a better way to store all your stuff? Get the Rubbermaid Clear Underbed Box with a convenient handle and a hinge see-through lid so you know what's inside. Just one of thousands of solutions we have to make life a little easier. Rubbermaid. Ideas that last. It's 1997. No woman has to accept hair loss without a fight. Because Rogaine can regrow hair. So if you've inherited hair loss, don't give up. Rogaine is medically proven to get to the root to grow hair. And only Rogaine is clinically shown to help you keep the hair you have. It's safe, the one doctor is prescribed. Apply Rogaine in the time it takes to comb your hair, and in just four months, you can grow it. Rogaine for women, the power to regrow hair. No one believed her. What I found was a competent doctor. I do see signs of sexual abuse. The doctor's calling the judge. What? It's over. But when justice failed, she did what only a mother could do. Changing their names, running from their past, creating a new life. FBI. Faith Ford and Kyle Secor in Her Desperate Choice, a Lifetime original movie. Today at 4, 3 Central on Lifetime. They're all around. All seven? Yeah, seven. Grand openings. Oh, openings. Oh, nice. New one-hour photo. And pharmacists who help you. Pharmacists who listen. Convenience foods, too. Anybody know the name of these stores? In this life you need it all. Right A. Right A. The drugstore? Yeah? Yeah. Hi, this is your Carrier Indoor Weather Report. 
Well, it's ideal in Death Valley, just perfect in Alaska, fair and mild in New Orleans, and everywhere else you find carrier indoor weather systems that have been making the weather you like since 1902. Here's who to call for custom-made indoor weather in your neck of the woods. Quality carrier systems and dependable TR heating and cooling service, the right combination for keeping you and your family comfortable. Call TR Heating and Cooling today. Custom-made indoor weather. We now return to No Child of Mine, part of Mother's Day weekend on Lifetime. Well, wouldn't we automatically have a say? We're Jesse's closest blood relatives. We're his grandparents. You're talking common sense, Mr. Jenkins. But the law sometimes works in mysterious ways. See, if Tammy had abandoned the baby in the hospital, he'd be a ward of the state. As relatives, you'd be the first people they'd consider to give the baby to. So what's the problem? Well, this is a private adoption, and your daughter has the right to ask anybody she wants to adopt her child. Then why is it going to court at all? A judge still has to approve the adoption to make it legal, and the social workers have to submit a report saying the child will be cared for in the new home. But the legal procedure is strictly between your daughter and the youngs. So there's nothing we can do about it? Well, you can't legally contest a private adoption. But you can, as grandparents, try to get visitation rights. Once the judge knows about you and how much you want Jesse... Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're saying that if the judge knows that we want Jesse, he might not let the adoption go through? I'm saying it's possible. The judge is supposed to rule in the best interest of the child. Well, clearly it's in Jesse's best interest to be with his own family. Well, that's our job to prove that to the judge. If he agrees to hear our side, he'll want to know what objections we have to placing Jesse with the youngs. Don't get me started. Well, we need facts. That means a lot of legwork, asking around, and we don't have much time. The youngs' adoption here is the first week in January. Department of Mental Health. Am I supposed to kill this part out here? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Yes. I'm sorry, but Mr. Fields won't be able to see you today after all. I've been waiting here all morning. I just need five minutes this time. He's going to lunch, ma'am. I'll wait till he gets back. He's got appointments out of the office the rest of the day. Is that him? Is that Mr. Fields? Yes, but... Excuse me! Mr. Fields! Mr. Fields? Yes? Excuse me! What is Mr. it? Mr. Fields. Excuse me. I'm Lucille Jenkins, and I just need a moment of your time. About the state guidelines for the raising of handicapped children, I just need to know, in state facilities, what is the ratio of children to child care workers? Well, that depends. Who'd you say you were? I'm a grandmother, Mr. Fields, and I just need a moment of your time. Look at you. Oh, I have missed you. I miss you too. Why don't I drive you home? Okay. Come on, we'll put you back in the truck. Boy, I thought I was gonna forget how to play checkers. How come I never get to come over anymore? What does your mother say? I don't know. Well, if you want to talk to us, sir, you just call. You don't need to ask permission. You just pick up the phone. Okay. I'll bet you miss Jesse. We went over there on Sunday. To the Youngs? You shouldn't have to go to somebody else's house to visit your brother. Wouldn't it be better if Jesse lived with Nanny and Grandpa? And then you could come over all the time and we could be together. Hmm? All the time. Danny, go sit in the car, now. You got ice cream at home, go. Please, Danny, just do like I tell you, so. Nobody takes my boy without my say-so. I 
left you a message and you know that he's safe here. I had plans with my boy today. That's right, my boy. I know you don't want to admit that I'm his daddy. You've never given me any respect, Lucille, not since day one. You don't storm into my house and demand respect. You earn it. If you honored my relationship with that boy, if, if, if you let me see him, then I wouldn't have to snatch him off a playground. You think I'm not on to you? I know what you're trying to do, Lucille. It's the same old crap you've always pulled. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no? Why did Tammy's ex-husband show up out of the blue when I was trying to adopt Danny? Who could have called him and stirred up all that trouble? Huh, Lucille? Danny was happy living here. He didn't want to leave. He cried himself to sleep every night. You look down your nose at me and at my whole family. I put up with you because I love Tammy. But Lucille, there's limits. But you and I think of each other has nothing to do with me seeing Danny. Bob! Bob! If you love Tammy, then help her. She's not thinking straight about Jesse. You know that. She needs help. Try to hear me, Lucille. We made that decision together because we love Jesse. My family understands that. Are you sure? It's not natural. Buckle up. I have been all over town. And from what I can tell, those people could adopt a hundred kids and nobody would even bat an eyelash. Jean, I'm at my wit's end. We have offered the kids help. We've offered them money. There must be some way we can keep Jesse and the family. I figure there's power in numbers. Three grandparents fighting for Jesse's got to be better than two. Lucille, I understand how you feel. I really do. I knew you would. Bob said that they had your approval, but I knew that couldn't be true. Lucille, they haven't asked for my approval. I don't think it's my place to tell Bob and Tammy how to live their lives. Listen, uh, it's late. I, I got a stack of invoices on my desk. Jane, I... Jesse is your grandson, too. It doesn't bother you that they're giving him away? Let it go, Lucille. For your own sake, just let it go. I can't. I'm sorry, maybe you can. But I can't. inside it's lunch time go kids let's go come on everybody inside come on everybody inside for lunch come on tiffany Mommy, thomas right leave that chair we'll be there after lunch hurry up now go kids go daddy miss jenkins i'm here to see my grandbaby miss jenkins i told you on the phone we have to respect tammy's and bob's wishes he gave us your word you said his family would always be well Ma'am, that was before you all started fighting with us. I miss him. I just want to see him. This is our home. Jesse's our son now. You're going to have to get used to that. Mama, go away. I don't want to talk to you. How's Jordan? Is he okay? He's fine. He's much better. Tammy, why can't I see Jesse? The youngs refuse to let me see him. All over town, running those people down. You expect to be welcome there? That's not what I'm doing. I I'm just... Go home. 
I am just asking questions. Don't you want to know that that's a good place for your own son? I do know. Those people don't even work. Raising those kids is work, Mama. Do you know how much money they make off the government? Did you know that they get Social Security for the disabled? That's 12 retarded kids, Tammy. That's 12 times 387. That's over $4,000 tax-free every single month. Stop it! I can't take any more, all right? I just can't take it. Listen to yourself, Mama. Listen to how your mind works. Tammy, go away! Just go away! They won't let me see Jesse, and now I can't see Danny or Jordan either. It's criminal. Well, we got enough to file a petition now, Mrs. Jenkins. We'll take our best shot at getting your visitation. Just keep your fingers crossed. I guess I've been fooling myself. I was hoping that I could have the family back together in time for Christmas. Well, nothing's going to happen until after the holidays. I'm sorry. Mama, are you okay? Oh, yes, honey, I'm fine. I just need to get some air. You know, you shouldn't wear yourself up like this. We're not kids anymore. We don't need such a big Christmas. Oh, baby. That's not what's worn me out. Have you talked to your sister? Yeah, I tried to call her this morning, but I just got the machine. She must have received the papers by now. I swear I didn't want this to go to court. How could she do this to us? Robin, you're the one with the fancy college degree. Can you make any sense of this? I don't know, Mama. Come on, let's go inside. It's time to open our presents. half thinking your folks were just bluffing about going to court to stop the adoption. Merry Christmas. Huh? I'm so sorry. Oh, Tammy, no, don't. No, really, it's not fair. I should have told you. You know, when you took Jesse, you got my mama, too. I knew I shouldn't have dragged you all into this. Hey, hey. We have been through a lot of adoptions, and I am pretty sure the law is on our side. Did I take that little guy? Ready for bed. Come on, JJ. Give me a hand. We're so happy Jesse's here. He's doing so great. It's like, it's like Bob and I were praying and God sent you to us. Oh. If you want out of this, we'd understand if you changed your mind, Peggy. Never. Tammy. Tammy, listen to me. We didn't bring Jesse into our home lightly. We made a commitment to Jesse and to you. You're his birth parents, but he's our son. I know, but you don't understand my mother. Mama never loses. We're going to take you for a ride up close, personal, and in control. I'm Gina Davis. Join me for Breaking Through. 
Women Behind the Wheel. A Lifetime Sports Special. Premieres Thursday, May 22nd at 7 p.m. on Lifetime. Scented panty liners just mask odor. But All Days from Always can actually help absorb it. Their unique odor-absorbing core and dry weave top sheet pull moisture and odor inside. All Days odor-absorbing panty liners. Don't just mask odor, control it. Pride and Joy Purina Cat Chow for a healthy, active life. Chow, chow, chow. Pride and Joy. New L'Oreal Kid Shampoo. L'Oreal. <laughs> Tear free. L'Oreal. No more knots. <laughs> Beautiful hair. L'Oreal. Because we're worth it too. If there's a chance of a baby in your future, the B vitamin folic acid is critical before pregnancy. Folic acid may help reduce the risk of birth defects of the brain and spine. But most women don't get enough in their diet. That's why it's important to take Centrum. Centrum has the folic acid you need. And now Centrum is working with the March of Dimes to spread this important health message. For your future baby, take folic acid every day. Centrum, always complete from A to Zinc. Every game, a zillion flashballs go off, but not one is a picture of me. I'll take your picture, Bill. Now that's a real fan. As they say at Ritz Camera, say cheese with Ritz. Cheese with Ritz. Because Ritz puts the blitz on prices. Is a big odor taking over your little space? Stop it with Wizard Stick Ups and stick up for fresh air. <laughs> Hey, your kitchen's not as clean as you think. Not all cleaners kill E. coli or salmonella. You never know where they might turn up. Lysol antibacterial kitchen cleaner not only cuts through grease, it disinfects. So, till you have our word on it, you can't call it clean. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation I'm riding the luge, racing at over 100 miles per hour as the wind whips over my body. Your peppermint patty, get the sensation. At America Online, we've been working day and night to serve you better. And we're pleased to tell you we're making progress. America Online, America's number one internet online service, is in the middle of a $350 million expansion to increase our network capacity by 75% to make America Online work better for you. And you may have noticed it's getting better. At America Online, we're working hard to meet your needs. This wedding was paid for with the help of mutual funds from MetLife. Whatever you're saving for, MetLife can review your options and explain the risks. We'll help you make sense of it all. Get Met. It pays. Spring into cleaning with the Busters. The twice as powerful Dust Buster Plus. Busting loose. The motorized Scum Buster for tiles and tub. Well, well. I feel like busting loose. And the cordless Floor Buster for floors and carpet. I'm busting loose in the evening. Discover all the VersaPak-powered busters and get a big jump on your cleaning this spring. Very clever, Black & Decker. I realize where my strength comes from and, it, and it's from her. I'm Jane Fonda. Join me for a special Mother's Day tribute to Moms of a Lifetime. Tonight at 10 on Lifetime. We now return to No Child of Mine, part of Mother's Day weekend on Lifetime. I thought you said they weren't going to be allowed in. Well, they're not supposed to be. This hearing is just between the adopting parents and the judge. Well, then what are they doing here? I mean, if, if we can't go in, why should they be able to go in? Guess they're hoping the judge will bend the rules. I wouldn't worry about it. It ain't going to happen. Gave them the blanket. You live right here. Your Honor, 
My clients are the child's grandparents, his blood relatives. All they're asking for today is a chance to be heard. Now, with all due respect, Your Honor, the birth parents have already relinquished their parental rights. Now, however well-intentioned, the Jenkins are not a party to this proceeding. And there is no precedent that I have found to allow for their participation. I don't understand. Does that mean you get to keep Jesse? No, no, not yet. But Judge Herndon says he's going to consider our rights before he grants the adoption. And that's what we were hoping for. So you won today? Yes. That's right. We won. She doesn't know what she's doing. She can't even look us in the eye. Baby, this judge is going to give us Jesse. I feel it in my heart. And someday, Tammy's going to thank us. I just told him they ought to get a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> that was our lawyer on the phone. The Youngs are appealing the judge's decision to consider our rights. Well, that's no big surprise. The trouble is, it could take six months for the appeals court to rule. In the meantime, Jesse's in limbo, living with the Youngs and not bonding with his family. Mama, listen. Donna and I... All those kids in one little house. Mama. They're folks who've been turned down to be foster parents who have more room than the Youngs. Darling, I think our son is trying to tell you something. What? What is it? We're having a baby. We've been thinking with the baby coming all, we ought to start looking for a bigger place. I'll call my friend Jackie at River Realty. You remember Jackie, I'll call her tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, we got plenty of time. Do you realize that our new baby will be so close in age to Jesse and Jordan they can grow up together? Congratulations, Nanny. Mm -hmm. able to come to the phone just now, so please leave a message at the tone and we'll get back to you. Tammy, it's Mama. If you're there, I wish you'd pick up the phone. I just want you to know that if you think you've dug yourself a hole so deep you can't get out, well, you can. Not too late. There's enough love in this family. Forgive anything. I don't want to lose you. 
I never had a chance to use it all. Thanks for inviting me over. Oh, I miss you. I miss you, boy. I didn't want to make things hard for you with everything up in the air and all, you know. I can handle Mama. You think so? I'm not like you, Tammy. I'm not always trying to prove something. So you think I'm, you think I'm trying to prove something with Jesse? Is that what you think? No, I didn't mean that. I was just... Look. I've made some mistakes in the past. Some big ones, I know that. But that's the past. In Mama's eyes, I'm always gonna be 16. She's never gonna see that I've grown up. And I have grown up, Ricky. I really have. Giving Jesse to the Youngs, it was it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I know in my heart, it was the right thing to do for my son. It was the responsible thing to do. And Mama, Mama's never gonna see it that way. You're the two most stubborn people I know. You and Mama are a lot more alike than you think. Get out of my house. You know, this didn't just start with me. Half the time, Mama doesn't even talk to her family. So, I guess there's hope. I wish she hadn't gone to court, Rick. That really hurt. They kept asking. Sometimes it's easier to give in. Well, that's how it starts. You're gonna find out when you and Donna have your baby. You just be careful that you don't give in so much. Pretty soon, you're not the parent anymore. Mama thinks she owns our kids. It's not going to happen with us. Why are you in trouble? My daughter asked me to pick up her pictures. Tammy Frazier, I can't find the receipt. Oh, well, you just missed her. She was just here picking those up. Oh, shoot. And I was hoping to have some reprints made. Well, she's making a couple enlargements. Why don't you take a look at these poses? Tell me what you need. Thank you. Where it stands. The Youngs have won the right to have you excluded from the adoption process. But that doesn't mean the judge won't consider your position now that he knows about you. Well, the judge still has to rule what's best for Jesse. And this is the same judge that let us into the courtroom in the first place. Right. The social worker's report is going to be crucial. The judge has to have a reason to stop the Youngs from adopting Jesse. I found out he's got grandbabies of his own. Well, that's good. We can use all the help we can get right now. I think it's time to start turning on the pressure. Please. 
It's your social workers making the report to Judge Herndon. He won't give Jesse away if you tell him how he's living over at the Youngs, what that place is like. I assure you, the Youngs are undergoing a thorough investigation. But in a case like this, we report on only three basic needs. Food, clothing, and a roof over the child's head. Now, if the Youngs can provide that, but we can provide so much more. We might here to report on more. We're a government agency, Miss Jenkins, and the law is very specific. As long as the child is safe, we can't make value judgments on where or how he's raised. I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. How can there be such strict rules for children in foster care and state institutions and not for adoption? Well, I'm afraid that's just the way it is. And there's nothing more you can do about it. Except change the law. Oh, I plan to, believe me. When enough people realize what's going on, they're not going to stand for it. I'm just afraid it'll be too late for Jesse. I agree it's a private matter. I'm just telling you what the lawyer said. The more people know about Jesse's situation, the more pressure there is on the judge to do the right thing. What kind of magazine is it? It's called Ladies World. There's a copy downstairs. The reporter sounded very nice on the phone. She said all we have to do is tell our story. I told her you'd be there. Why did you say that? It's for Jesse, honey. You never even bothered to ask me. I got a call from that stupid real estate agent today. Jackie? I told her you were looking for a house. She said you had one picked out already, right across the street. It's adorable. And I know you can get it for a steal. Donna, I can't wait to show it to you. Ricky? Ricky! Where are you going? Ricky! Quit calling me, Mama. Don't talk to your mother like that. Now, you show some respect. How about some respect for me? You're trying to run my life, just like you're trying to run Tammy's and everybody else's. Just stop it! What in the hell is happening here? It's, it's like, it's like our family is falling apart. Now look, I know in my heart that we're doing I'll the right thing. I'll smooth it over with him in the morning. He'll be fine, you'll see. I don't know. I don't know anymore, baby. Now, maybe, maybe we're going too far with this thing. Maybe we should call that reporter right now and just tell her not to come. We can't quit now, Lamar. What if Tammy wakes up and realizes what she's done? If we have Jesse, then he'll always be here for her. Maybe this publicity may be the only chance we have to keep Jesse in the family. Today's show listening to our bodies my body's telling me oh, can you just listen to me your hair is saying nice and easy from Clairol with healthy shine conditioner hi it works with your hair's own tones and highlights 110 and 117 let's go let's go look the healthy shine conditioner lets the natural looking color shine through I don't know what her body's saying but your hair is saying oh yeah it's nice and easy to be natural from Clairol Pillsbury presents a hot, fresh cookie with such giant hunks of real chocolate. Only one word can describe it. Chunky. Who are you calling Chunky? Uh, Pillsbury chocolate chunk cookies. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I was born with Down syndrome. My mother taught me more than any teacher could. She tells me I can when I say I can't. Jennifer Selman, Myrtle Beach. This Lifetime Mother's Day tribute is brought to you by Celebrity Cruises, exceeding expectations. Need a better way to keep your food? Then get Rubbermaid Easy Tops food storage containers. They open easy, keep your food fresh, and your fridge organized. Just one of thousands of solutions we have to make life a little easier. Wow. Rubbermaid. Ideas that last. At which point in our lives did a long, hot bath go from being the ultimate punishment to the ultimate reward? It is a place you call your own, a place all yours, a place called home. The JCPenney Home Collection is a brand of perfectly coordinated bedding, bath, and window coverings that help you make the place you live the place you love. JCPenney, I love 
love your style. Save now at the JCPenney window covering sale. Now, lowest prices ever on Eureka's top model World Vax. Fully featured, 12 amps, maximum you can buy. 15 inches wide. Micron filtration, instant use onboard tools, Bravo 2 direct air system, and Victory clean air design. Both lowest prices ever from Eureka. Twizzlers and Twizzlers pull and peel candy. Two ways to make mouths happy. Introducing the Colgate Wave Toothbrush. It's got a new wavy handle designed to fit your hand so the wavy bristles can clean better. The new Colgate Wave. When your period's late, waiting's the worst. First Response understands. That's why its pregnancy test is so fast. I got accurate results as soon as two minutes. I feel better now that I know. For an accurate, fast response, trust First Response. Now please, try this at home. The Big Apple chef Michael LaMonaco is a man with a mission. To make you a master of improv in your kitchen. Because there's nothing like a home-cooked meal. From shopping to chopping, he'll give you all the ingredients you'll need to make a break from the straight and narrow. Are we having fun yet? So drop by Michael's Place. It's the place to go where cooking's only a part of the show. Come on by. This spring, Ray Hunter is bursting at the seams with an incredible selection of unusual home and garden items, collectibles, unique giftware, as well as our full-service florist, a complete selection of patio furniture, and nothing gets more compliments than gorgeous Jackson and Perkins roses. See unique Henry Studio statuary, wind chimes, and unique pottery. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Ray Hunter is family owned and operated for 77 years. Eureka Row between Allen and Dixon Southgate. We now return to No Child of Mine, part of Mother's Day weekend on Lifetime. How did she get this picture? Who gave my mama that picture? Tammy, honey, I debated whether to show it to you or not. I didn't want you to pick it up in some checkout stand or something. I'm glad you showed me, Jean. I just... I can't believe she'd go that far. Oh, more letters today, huh? Oh, this isn't the half of it. There's a whole pile in the den. Just from one little article. I don't know how I'm going to answer them all. Here's one. From a woman in New Jersey. Her daughter's on drugs and she's trying to get the baby. I had no idea there were so many people out there who know what we're going through. <laughs> well, I'm gonna rub sugar, so lie down a bit, Nuckins. Well, I haven't even started supper. You okay, sugar? Oh, yeah. Just a little tired. You can't believe what this place has been like today. The phones were ringing off the hook. There must have been 50 messages on that machine when I got home. I didn't know this machine could take 50 messages. <gasps> I saved one for you. You're not gonna believe this. Hi, I'm calling from the Marjorie Duncan Show. We'd like to fly your family to New York to appear on our show. If you could read... Did you hear that? They want us on the Marjorie Duncan Show. Now, they're going to pay for everything. Uh, airline tickets, hotel, and we'll get to see Robin. Wait, wait a minute, sweetheart. Uh, you know the kind of people they get on that show. I mean, they, they yell and scream at each other. It's, it's embarrassing. We're not like those people, sugar. Lamar. Millions of viewers watch that show I, every day. I really don't know about this. Place. Judge Herndon could be watching. Now, even if the law won't let us take our case to him in person, they can't stop us from going on national television. There is just no way I'm going to go on national television with Lucille. No way. I agree with Bob. She wants to make a fool out of herself. I say we just let her do it. Look, it's like the lady from the show said. This is our only chance to tell our side of the story. Otherwise, my mama gets to have the last word on everything about our lives. Now, is that what we want? Is that what you want? All I know is you don't give away your own flesh and blood. I can't even listen to this anymore. Okay, Frasers and Youngs, you're on right after this commercial. Come with me. 
Go get him, guys. Marjorie is going to be taking questions during this segment. Now, raise your hand. She'll come to you, and you'll speak directly into the mic, and don't be nervous, all right? And once again, you're doing a great job, and keep that energy up. Thank Five, you very much. Five, four, three, two... If you're just tuning in, this is the first time that mother and daughter have actually been in the same room in over six months. In just a few days, a judge will decide the fate of little Jesse. The fight for his custody has torn apart what was once the perfect family. Tammy, let's start with you. Why not let mother and dad take little Jesse if they're willing, if they want to? Well, first of all, we were never the perfect family. Not by a long shot. And I, I just, I don't want my child raised the same way that I was raised. We didn't raise her to give away a baby. <sighs> Marjorie, we love our daughter. We've given her everything. Well, I don't want to give Jesse everything. <laughs> I don't understand. If she doesn't want Jesse because he's retarded. That's not it. I love Jesse. I just, I don't think I can give him the same kind of life that the youngs can give him. How can she keep the perfect baby and give away the other? How can she dress them up and pose them together and then leave one behind when she's finished taking the pictures? Well, let's get the picture of the twins up on the monitor real quick. Oh. All right, over here. Tammy, I'm sorry. You just seem like a spoiled, selfish girl who doesn't want to be bothered with... you don't deserve a loving woman like your mother and I thought my daughter was bad Excuse me. But wait a minute that, that's not the point we love our daughter this is about Jesse if you all came to our house you would see how we raised our kids you'd see how beautifully Jesse's doing if people knew more about Down syndrome this wouldn't be an issue Marjorie I have nothing against the youngs but let me ask you this do you think that Jesse would get the same amount of love and attention in a house with 15 kids as he would in our home? All right, over here. Mrs. Jenkins, I wish you all the best for what you're trying to do. I, I hope that you and your family can come together on this and put aside your differences for the sake of the child. That's exactly what we've been praying for. As I listen to this, it seems pretty clear that this fight isn't about Jesse at all. There's a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of family stuff that was happening long before Jesse was even born. Am I right? Well, I thought that we could get a fresh start when the twins came. Tammy, now little Jordan, that's Jesse's twin. Now he had some problems at birth. Yes, he did, but he is totally healthy now. He's 100% normal. Tammy, I'm not so sure if we left it up to this audience if you'd be happy with their decision. Lucille, how can I write this judge and tell him to give you Jesse? Judge uh, Venable Herndon. Herndon, a Gifford County Superior Court Municipal Building, 1, Suite 703, Gifford County. And I just want to thank all of my guests for joining us here today. We're out of time, and we're going to see you tomorrow. Hey, it's got nothing to do with the law. It's just a television show. I'll tell you one thing. If you and George don't get to keep Jesse, he's coming back with me and Bob because I am never going to let her have my baby. Good luck, Mrs. Jenkins. This movie is sponsored by Franzia, America's best-selling wine. Wines this good must be guarded with care. That's why Franzia comes to you in an airtight pouch that protects the fresh taste to the very last glass. Maybe that's why it's America's best-selling wine. Jane, what are we doing tonight? Sorry, gotta wash my hair. Bye. Sarah. Sorry, Jake, washing my hair. Now that women have discovered Clairol's herbal essences, Mm. The all-natural botanicals, mm. the organic herbs, oh. drenched in pure mountain oh. water. Yes! 
Yeah. We've all got better things to do. Herbal Essences, a totally organic experience. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jakey. Bye, Jakey. It's time for Create a Meal Stir Fry. In just 20 minutes, you've got dinner like it used to be. It's a fresh solution to dinner. Ho, ho, ho. Create a Meal. Want really whiter teeth? Now they're yours. New Rembrandt Dazzling White, the first brush and bleaching gel and toothpaste in one. Safely bleaches your teeth's shades whiter than any other whitening toothpaste. New Rembrandt Dazzling White, guaranteed. Do you ever just have one of those days? Well, at Farmers Insurance, everything we do is about getting things back to normal. Isn't that what insurance is supposed to do? Farmers, get you back where you belong. There's a smile <laughs> in every Hershey bar. I never felt like I fit into you curved around my curve. Introducing body language. Satiny lingerie with slip-free straps. Just keep holding me each day. It's the prettier side of comfort from Playtex. This is not a TV show. This could be you. <laughs> What would happen to your family? Where would the money come from? For the mortgage, for your kid's education, to live on. But this is a commercial. There is something you can do. Life insurance. It isn't for the people who die. It's for the people who live. On Lifetime. Murder is what I call an occupational hazard. She was society's worst nightmare. If you want to kill me, Kill me, I don't care. But one woman gave her reason to hope. Prison is where I belong. I don't believe that. And one man gave her a reason to live. This baby is half mine. I don't want her to go to strangers. Tira Farrell and Mayor Winningham. Oh. A Lifetime original movie, Better Off Dead. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. here on Lifetime. the names of my kids through the newspaper, Mama. How could you put their picture on television for everybody to gawk at? You came on the show same as me, Tammy. Because you started it. We had to at least defend ourselves. But nobody thought you were right. Doesn't that tell you something? I don't have to answer to the whole world about my baby's life. If, if I have to choose between what the world thinks and what I know is right for my son... Jesse is my flesh and blood, too. I am doing this for him. Are you sure, Mama? You sure you're not doing this for yourself? Lucille Jenkins always gets what she wants. It doesn't matter what it does to anybody else. I didn't think... I didn't know those people would be so cruel to you. It's not between you and me anymore, Mama. It's up to the judge now. I am a good mother. I am. I have three children. Danny, Jordan, and Jesse. And just once, I would like to hear you say that I am their mother. You are their mother.
Something's wrong with Daddy. Hurry. Lamar! Lamar! Please, 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 Jack, get him some water, huh? Right, baby. Hold on. Just hold on. Why didn't I see you were sick? How could your daddy not tell me his ulcer was flaring up again? Why would he keep it a secret from me? Mama, sometimes we're afraid to tell you things. We know how upset you get. It's ridiculous. I'm strong enough to handle anything. Yeah, I know, I know. But this whole thing with Tammy, it's just... I mean, it's real hard on everybody. I guess... Daddy's also didn't just... flare up all of a sudden by itself. And Ricky, too. He's caught in the middle. What about you? All through this whole thing, I've never heard you say how you feel. You're a grown woman. You're entitled to your own opinion. I want to know. I really do. Mama, I can't say for sure what I would do if I were in Tammy's situation, but I think... I think that she did the right thing for her and for her family. I wish I could believe that, too. I try to believe that. Can you understand that, honey? Sure, Mama. I may not always think the same way you do about everything. Yeah, I know, Mama. And I love you, too. I tell you, I'm fine. It, I'd feel a lot better if you would just stop treating me like an invalid. This is all my fault. I've been so busy trying to get Jesse back. I haven't been taking care of you. You, you, I, you know I knew you'd react this way. I, I mean, I knew it. Why does everything have to be your personal responsibility, Lucille? I mean, isn't it possible that I got this ulcer all by myself without any help from you? Honey, I'm always saying. I know, sweetheart. It's, it's just that if I say something's wrong, you get all worked up trying to fix it. I guess that's why everybody's always afraid to tell me things. Robin moved a thousand miles away. Ricky's mad at me now. Tammy hates me. I do wrong. What did I do? Let me tell you what you did. You raised three fine kids, and I may have helped a little bit along the way. But they're grown now, baby, you know, and we just gotta let them go. They're so... different from me. Well, maybe that's good. Maybe... maybe that's the way we raised them, to be their own people. Let's see. Look at me. Look at me. There has never been a parent in the whole history of the planet that did a perfect job. Are you listening to me? Hey, are you listening to me? I love you. I love you so much. And part of the reason that I've always loved you is that you're the bravest person I've ever met. Lucille, you're a fighter. You're, you're like... You're like Joan of Arc. Get out come here. here. Come here. Come here to me. Come here to me. Baby, what are we going to do if we don't get Jesse tomorrow? Well, it's out of our hands now. We'll just accept whatever comes. Just like that. Make it sound so easy. What choice do we have? You know, 
Maybe we should start to focus on what we have instead of what we don't have. Not you. And I thank the Lord for that. Sorry to keep you waiting. How's Jesse doing? He's doing great. He's learned every day. He's just starting to walk. He's just a joy. Well, after giving careful consideration to the reports filed by the Department of Family and Child Services, there seems to be no reason not to approve this adoption. <laughs> Congratulations. Jesse is yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, we're not happy about the decision, but we understand that Judge is just acting within the law, the way it's written right now. Have you talked to your daughter today since the decision? No, we haven't. But we want her to know that we, uh, we still love her very much, and we always will. She'll always be our daughter. And Jesse will always be our grandson. This is Bonnie Raskin reporting from downtown Memphis. Back to you, Jim. Excuse me. Where's the truck? Uh, for sure we need a bigger room for all your presents. <laughs> well, we got a truckload of love if you want it. Uh, this is a gift certificate. I thought you might want to pick out what you like. Thanks. Thank you. You want to hold Jennifer? Oh, we're only going to stay a minute, I promise. are going to love this baby some years. <laughs> so, if we, if I ever overstep my bounds, I want you to tell me, okay? You're going to be a good mama and daddy. And all we want to be is good grandparents. A son who's losing his mother. A mother who's lost her son. We've looked for 15 years. On a collision course with the truth. Sybil Shepherd. There was a little boy. Tonight at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime. Happy Mother's Day from Lifetime Television. Mom, it's not a simple job, and this weekend we celebrate with stories of all kinds of moms. Coming up next, Faith Ford stars in Her Desperate Choice, a Lifetime original movie, followed by David's Mother starring Kirstie Alley. It's all coming up only on Lifetime. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to have a quiet family dinner, <gasps> Ameritech caller ID to the rescue. 
see the names, get the numbers, return the calls later. Call 1-800-709-LINK to order and get a free Boston Market Big Feast, a $20 value, during the Ameritech Feast on a big deal. Your quiet family dinners depend on it. Ameritech, your link to better communication. If you're always scrambling for something clean to wear, now is the time to bring in a big bundle of dry cleaning to any one-hour martinizing location and save a big bundle of cash during the Big Bundle 30 for 30 sale. Just bring in $30 worth of dry cleaning to your nearest one-hour martinizing store and you'll get a whopping 30% off the entire bundle during the Big 30 for 30 sale happening now. When you need it bad, you want it good. One-hour martinizing. Happy Mother's Day. One man betrayed them. Another man offers them hope. You let me help? Can his love really protect them? Do you love me? Faith Ford, Kyle Secor, Her Desperate Choice, a Lifetime original movie. Next on Lifetime.